welcome to day two um, of my um, hobby vlog. Um, today I'm just going to give you a quick update on what I worked on yesterday and today. I have been working on magnetizing my dwarf armor units. I've got two units done so far. Um, when they're on the battlefield, they'll be in movement trays with metal, so it'll be easy to move them. And when I have them in storage, I'll put them on trays like this in my drawer. Because it actually came broken, unfortunately. But uh, my other drawers are not broken. So I've got these sheets there were about a dollar fifty for eight by twelve. Um, the the twelve by twelve, which is what I want for this drawer. Like ten bucks, so and heavier. I didn't want that. So these are um, just little sheets that uh, you can get at De Home Depot for about a dollar fifty, two dollars, and just use two of them to, to, to make up, you know, twelve by twelve. Not a big deal. Um, and I'll be cutting those down and um, probably making the movement trays flush with the bases so that they're invisible when they're on the table. Uh, my next step in the process of getting these dwarves ready will be to texture them. So how did I do the magnetization? Let's take a quick look here if I can get it in focus. I don't know. My face is always going to be in focus. I don't know. What I did was I Used a little bit of green stuff and then put a little magnet on the bottom. And then because the green stuff may not stick to the plastic perfectly, I went ahead and used a little bit of super glue um, just to secure that. And uh, I saw that on a, on a video somewhere. So I will see if I can get some, find it again, and then, and then give some attribution to, to the folks that gave me these ideas. Um, pretty common ideas for for the seven armies. And I am wearing my um, iconic hat today. <laughs> I had some feedback with people that didn't recognize me with that. This is what I normally look like when most people see me out and about. And so, but here inside and during the summer, I get really hot, so I take my hat off. So there's that. Um, after I get them textured, uh, and it'll be pretty simple, you know, a little bit of PVA and some texturing sand uh, with various sites, uh, ground gravel, and then uh, I'll let that dry thoroughly overnight. And then when I prime them, that'll help seal in that texture as well. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to, to get these dwarves all done. I've got uh, the thunderers to do and all the characters to do um, with the magnetization. And again, back to um, one, just one thing. So I'm, I'm trying to take this step by step uh, and do just a little bit. Um, I am starting to shift my mess around a bit, figure out how I'm going to clean things up and get things uh, cleaned up here in the office. I've already gotten feedback from my daughter about how messy it is, but it, it, it also keeps her out. <laughs> no, I'll get it all clean, and uh, it'll be easier for me to, to do the videos and also to do the, the hobby uh, stuff that I've been doing. So that's it for today. Uh, go ahead and comment below um, 